night. I'm going to be a little bit quiet this morning. There's a massage going on in the back of our store and I don't want to disrupt anybody's time. So hopefully you can hear me well. If you can, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you see the red live button in, on the top, then you know you're catching me live. If it's not there, then you're catching me on the replay. And if I, uh, and you can still go ahead and comment because I'll go back and uh, read the comments and reply later if I don't see it now. And I'm not gonna be here with you long this morning, but I did wanna pop in and show you the table legs. I meant to um, paint those with you yesterday but somebody called here at work so I, I needed to take care of that so I painted while I talked and I have um, I used a little black, black dress um, by DIY and can you see the legs here these are very heavy this is the top of the legs they narrow down they're 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 very very heavy and they go to this table, let me see if I can turn my light around where you can see real good, this tabletop, and it has a, a, whoa, sorry about that, it has a leaf that goes in the center, but I think I'm going to leave it just like it is, I like it the size that it is, and there was some damage to the, some damage to the leaf that I don't feel like messing with, just to be honest, I'll do, I'll do something else, I'll repurpose that for something else. But um, I've thought about it and I had some suggestions from the last videos. Thank you, Amber, for that if you're watching. Um, and we're going to go with red. I'm going to go, it, it's sort of out of my comfort zone. Red's not one of my favorite colors, but I just feel like it's supposed to be red and, and I just need to trust my judgment on that. I, I, I believe our intuition tells us when we're supposed to do something a certain way and I see this table is red and black, so red and black it's going to be. Um, but before I uh, paint this, it is a, a kind of a veneer, you know, it, 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 I'm sure it was an expensive table in, in its day and it has seen better days. I, I did get it at a garage sale specifically just to be able to paint with y'all. That's, that's the fun of my hunting for projects. But if you can, oh, let me turn it around there. Let's see if we can, well, here through there and here if you can see that part there's some really bad scratches on there and even though paint's going to cover up those scratches I'm not worried about that and the indentations are going to be black on it the the little ridges and things that are in there and that's going to be black to be part of the character that the table's going to have the likelihood of bleed through tan and bleed through something that comes from under old finishes of wood it's called tan and bleed through is likely to happen through the red paint and i would be so disappointed if i was to go to all that work to follow through with my vision of making this table red and then it come up with brown spots and and greasy looking spots from underneath and, and i'm afraid that's what's going to happen so i'm going to clean the tabletop with uh Dixie Bell White Lightning, uh, which is a TSP based uh, cleaner, and I would, if I had just TSP, I would use that. If the the it's, it's cheap to buy the the little one from Dixie Bell, and I have one here already, so I'm going to clean it off to get all the old grease and residue off of there, and then I'm going to go ahead and use. It's not a slick surface, so I don't need slick stick. Um, I'm not going to sand it because you don't have to whenever you're using the clay and chalky based paints. That's not part of the process that you have to do. But I am going to use Boss on it, which is the a Dixie Bell product um, that blocks stains and odors. And I will probably, because of those deep scratches and because of the age of the and the condition of the table, I'll probably put at least two coats of that on there before I go with my red paint. And I haven't decided which red yet, but I'll share that with y'all whenever I do. But let me show you what I was going to do today and share with you. Back to the legs. I got um, one good coat, and that's all it took. One good coat um, all the way around on all the legs. Now, I'm not going to be able to do this as quickly. So with you, I will probably get, I'm using um, DIY After Show Big Top. And I'm just going to use one of my older chip brushes and let's just 
get it on here and I'm gonna go ahead and put it under the bottom too and, and, and on the top edge because this is a clay based paint and it has no kind of sealer on it and I do want that to be sealed because if water was to ever get on it at any time it could reactivate that paint and lift it off now the paint will um, what do you call it cure after 30 days you don't and 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 be harder but the top coat's going to protect it during that time and and thereafter so uh i sort of shook this around you sort of better to um stir than to shake but i sort of shook in a circular motion and i'm just gonna get some of this on here It's, I'm only going to put one coat on the legs um, because they're not going to get much use. So I'm going to put one coat on the legs, but whenever I'm working on the top, I'm going to put at least three coats because the top is going to get a lot of use and things scraped across it and things spilled over it and, and all that. This is very thin and it doesn't take very long to get it on here. Let me show you what's happening. See here, can you see in there? That's my black paint coming off of my brush and contaminating my container. That's why you don't do it in your container. I'm gonna pour some in this little boat and use it that way now. People do this top coating with a sponge. Um, I've done it with my good uh, paint pixie brushes, but today i um, got a lot going on and I want to um, go to lunch as soon as I finish this. So I'm using a chip brush that I could theoretically throw away. I'm not gonna throw it away. I'm gonna uh, use it as part of a Christmas decoration to tell you the truth, I'm gonna, but I'm gonna put it in my bucket of water over there and and continue to reuse it but I'm not going to worry about if it gets messed up or not. You don't want to go back and forth over your top coat a lot. Um, you want to get it on there and the reason I'm coming back to this one right now is a little bit was running down the side and I don't want to have a run even though I have no runs in my black paint and this stuff dries clear if I get a run with this, it's going to look like I had a run in my black paint. But it also starts to dry very quickly. So um, I don't want those runs, but that's why you don't want to go back and forth over it a lot. So. I don't know why I'm excited about this, but I'm excited about seeing how this table is going to turn out, which is, let's see if I can turn this around a little bit, which is unusual for me with, like I said, red's not one of my favorite colors, so, um, I ordinarily would have painted it some other color, and I would have liked to actually to have painted it blue, but I'm about to paint a dresser blue and no sense in having two blue things here. See how this is starting to run? That's for me jacking my jaws and not paying attention. So it'll gum up as I go back over it if I'm not careful. So that's why I have to pay attention and catch this now because you don't want to be going back over it later and having it come up, which is like what I'm doing right here. So I'm getting three sides of this now. Still gonna have one side to go um, when I get back from lunch, but that won't take long. And I'm gonna try to um, pick that table up and actually put it on top of this table and work on it up here so it'll be at a good non-back breaking level for me.
try to do long, smooth, even strokes from one end to the other. See that run? It's quick enough for me to catch it. That's also the floor, so it's not as important with the bottom of the leg. But you still want to do a good job if you can. So this is a water-based poly. I'm not um, smelling anything. I'm not feeling bad about doing it inside. I'm not worried about it. It just dropped on my chair right there. Up. Don't really, not really worried about any of that. I can clean that up in just a minute with some water. But it's, uh, there's no VOCs or volatile organic compounds in here. I mean, I'm in a health food store for goodness sake, so I don't want to be exposing myself or anybody else to anything dangerous. See how dark this is by oh, here. Be nice if this thing just followed me, huh? See how dark it's getting now? I would have been contaminating that whole jar. And that's what we're talking about when we're saying don't contaminate your paint because there's black all through there now. And I would not be able to use this again or anything else. Okay, so let's so even though um, you see me hacking at it and going this way and that way before, it even has a couple of few seconds to start to dry, I come back over it in the one long stroke so that it's going to dry evenly. Get it on and then make sure it's straight. Especially with this DIY paint, there's a little bit of difference in the color when you've got your top coat on it. Uh, it deepens the colors back to their original sort of tint they were before they started drying. Like I said, you wouldn't ordinarily think of needing to do the foot underneath this, but with this paint, if it doesn't have a, you know, a finish that's going to harden on there, it's going to need something or the water on the floor when somebody has a spill or your doggy does something he shouldn't, it's going to uh, reactivate that like paint and nobody's going to understand why they have a like puddle on their floor.
Okay, so it's coated on three sides. And I'm gonna let them dry while I go to lunch. See, how did I amazingly get just the right amount in there? Um, see the black that came, it's not any place that you can see where black came off, that black did come off. I'm gonna put a fan on this, leave a fan going while I'm going to lunch. That way I can flip them over and get uh, the other side as soon as I get back and figure out how I'm gonna get that table started. Talk to you soon, bye.